talking about Edmund Spencer's fabulous work of literature, The Fairy Queen. One of the many features of the poem is its celebration of English nationality and faith. Seeing as I am the head of both, it is very fitting that the poem is called The Fairy Queen, as that is me, Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> what part of the allegory am I? Holiness? Duh. Jesus, I want to thank you for my horse. She's a really cool horse. Riding for Jesus! Does Red Cross represent holiness? Absolutely. In the poem, I actually send three knights on noble quests, and each represents a value of English society. Holiness, temperance, and chastity. Chastity, of course, I am very fond of, as I am the Virgin Queen. I am. <laughs> Don't worry, Una. I'll slay that dragon for you and avenge your parents. Why, thank you, fair knight. Whoa. This. Error's den. The monster most vile whom God and man does hate. Hold my horse. that the dragon threw up all that vile Catholic propaganda. I mean, dragons are evil, and Catholics are evil too, so... Personally, I don't have too much against Catholics. I mean, my sister was one. But then she is dead, so... <laughs> Die, foul beast! Ugh! Yas Knight Soleil. As the Fairy Queen is written not only as a celebration of England, but also of the Protestant faith, many other sources of evil within the book also represent Catholicism. Hello! I am Archimago, the wizard, I mean hermit! Uh, and how? I was just saying some Ave Marys and I thought maybe you could like uh, stay at my place if you want. Oh sure! Thanks bud! Why thank you. <laughs> Time to practice some dark magic and cast some spells on these suckers! <laughs> Well, as they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. There are many other allegories within the poem, but in the interest of time, we will stop here. I hope you've enjoyed taking a closer look at the poem with me to understand the virtues and nationalism of Elizabethan England. And of course, to celebrate me. <laughs>